Hi, everybody. This is Beth Kluth. I'm really excited to be part of this collaboration with Graphics and the Alcohol Ink Art community. I am going to be doing a project on Graphics Durabrite White. And I love this synthetic paper um, because unlike some other brands, it can wipe back to white. It does not stain. And um, it can also stand up to a blow dryer um, if you need to um, dry something quickly. So those are just a couple of reasons I really like it. I have a 9 by 12 pad and I have cut down a piece to 9 by 9. I'm going to use a square piece for this. Um, and my project is a rustic snowflake. So <clears throat> um, I'll show a couple examples of what it looks like it's a really fun very unperfect unperfect snowflake design with a lot of wild colors around it um, and we are going to be using washi tape to mask off the snowflake design I did look at some online just to get an idea of um, you know shapes and that kind of thing but you can make it up um, yourself so I am going to start with, this is just, um, this is your normal width. I don't know if it's three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> um, I know they sell thicker and very thin, but this is the standard size, I think I would guess. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to just create sort of a wonky, the whole thing is going to be wonky, but a little bit of a wonky circle here. I don't care if there's like little washi tape is very easy to just rip with your finger. You just put your fingernail down and rip and it comes right off. I like washi tape. Um, the adhesive stands up to the alcohol pretty well. Um, I find better than painter's tape or masking tape. You could also use just regular cellophane tape. However, um, then you wouldn't be able to see where your design is unless you get, um, I think at the holidays, maybe they have red or green tinted tape <clears throat> but otherwise it's hard to see where your where your tape where your design is and um, it's a little harder to peel off of the paper at the end so I'm just pushing down those edges again I know that some ink is going to go underneath but it's okay all right now I'm just going to start branching out um, no, these aren't even necessarily straight <laughs> um, if you know me you know that I just like organic very sort of abstract messiness it's just sort of my style I find it's very freeing so um, this project you know you can use your imagination for the shapes it doesn't matter if things are straight it doesn't matter if things are perfect in fact, you don't want them to be perfect, quite frankly. <clears throat> All right. Um, now, if you, I don't have thinner tape. If I had thinner tape, I would use it, but I don't have thinner tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip this the long way, and then rip in half, and I will end up with these little little things that I can use for the the little Y's at the end and some of them are going to be thicker and some of them are going to be thinner and it doesn't matter at all. So you can just tear it off, rip it lengthwise. Oops. So I'm just sort of building out my design here again based on some things that I did look at online I didn't print anything out so it's just sort of <coughs> excuse me by memory all right so then I need to fill in a little bit here um, I think I'm gonna do 
I'm going to do some thinner, so again, I have to tear that in half. I'm going to do some thinner ones here, coming out. Like that. And got to find that end. <laughs> I love doing snowflakes because um, it's not just for holidays. It's snowflakes are for the entire time it's snowing, which here I live in Wisconsin. It's it's a it's a long period of time, or it seems like a long period of time. Save these little tiny. If you get little tiny snippets, you can put them over to the side and save them for when you need them. <clears throat> okay, one more in here right here okay so then I filled in that a little bit <coughs> I think I'm gonna do little wise at the end of these as well but they're a little shorter let's do this and this and obviously if you're doing this smaller you're going to have to use thinner washi tape. If you're doing something bigger, um, you won't have to tear things in half so much. All right. Get that on there and that on there. Okay. Push those down. <clears throat> and I think that's all I need. I could put in something here and here. I mean, you can build it out as big or as small as you like. <clears throat> but I think this is perfect. I'm just going to make sure all those edges are as down as much as I can get them down. All right. So now we are going to apply the inks. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can just sort of drip it on. Um, or you can use an applicator tool and felt. And they're going to give you... Um, different results. So this was just dripping it on and I'm, I'm going to show how to do that on here. This is a little bit more um, even and that's because I used the applicator tool. So it's almost like what kind of look you're going for. I would say try both and see which you like better. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I am going to use I know I'm going to use some dark blue, so I have denim here. And I'm just sort of like, um, woo, woo, just sort of like a salt and pepper shaker, right? Just sort of going around. I do want to make sure that I'm hitting near the edge of the tape. And I'm just going to let that sort of like spread out. Um, you don't want to keep adding wet on wet because they will just all blend together. I really want to have very separate colors and I want when I add new color to have really cool texture. And so in order to do that, you need to let this dry. Not completely dry, but I always say watch it because I love watching the ink. Watch it move. When it stops moving, you're pretty safe to add another color. So I'm going to go a little off. <clears throat> the beaten path here, I'm going to use some patina, which is like an aqua color. Just going to add a little bit of that on here. And if it's coming out too fast, you know, you can put it on a brush. You could put this in um, a palette <clears throat> and put some on a brush. And what you can do is just sort of tap that brush against your finger. So I have my finger out, I'm hitting it hard against my finger, and little speckles go out all over the place. So that's one way that you can can add that if, if it's coming out in too big of a um, um, too big of blobs. I'm gonna do a little bit of the sailboat blue, which is a little brighter. And I think I will do, I'm gonna do that on the brush as well, just for a little bit more control. Lots of little, lots of little blue dots. All 
And again, you have to have it. You have to have enough ink on there so that when you take the tape off, the white shows. If you have too much white paper showing at this point, when you take that tape off, you're not going to have a real distinct edge. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. Looks like snow. This whole project to me is just very therapeutic. <laughs> because it's nothing is precise. Everything is just sort of for fun and just <clears throat> the messier, the better. Okay, before this gets too um, puddle-like, I do wanna sort of let this next color dry. Ooh. <clears throat> I can think like what other color, I think I might wanna try some purple. So I'm going to clean my brush and I don't have any more wells so I'm just going to put the purple right on my brush straight on my brush and again I'm just going to tap it Ooh, ooh! it's so pretty it's just so pretty Ooh, look at that. That is amazing. Come down a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's not really going to come down. Here we go. <clears throat> that is pretty. All right, we're going to let that dry. I think I might go back with a little bit more light blue since I have it sitting here in my, my palette. And again, I want to make sure that wherever the edge of the tape is, that I've got some ink around the edge of that tape. Because <clears throat> it's only the contrast of the ink against the white that's going to allow your the design of your snowflake to show through. I did get a pretty big blob of that purple in there, so I'm going to go over that with a, just a little bit of this, these light dots of blue, just to sort of break that up a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, I am just going to let that dry, and um, I'll come back when that's when we're ready for the next step. Okay, we're back. Um, I let this dry for a little bit. I also used a little hand blower, just, or you could use a blow dryer. <clears throat> I'm just going to start picking up this tape now. And there is quite a bit of ink, not quite a bit, but there is some ink that went underneath. And I expected that. Um, and I've made a couple of these now, and I, I like sort of that, that look. Ooh. If you don't like that look, you can definitely go in with a Q-tip and clean, clean up the edges. <clears throat> but I don't really feel like I need to. So you can slowly start to see the design come to life. The tape comes up pretty easily. Don't freak out about the, all the ink underneath the seams. <clears throat> Again, if you use an applicator tool to apply the ink, you won't get as much leakage underneath because you're not using as much fluid you're not using as much ink. So if you like sort of a little cleaner edge, again, that's that's an option for you. So from far away, I mean, you can definitely see where <clears throat> the snowflake is. When you get closer, 
there is a lot of people would say that's all mess. Oh my gosh, look at it all went underneath. Again, um, I just want to show you how you can define it so that you can see it a little bit better without, without losing some of that really fun. Again, I think it's almost like batik. So again, in a past example, I used gold to outline the whole perimeter. And then I used black around the outside of that just to give it even a little bit more oomph. Or you could just use this one. I just used gold because I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle. This one, I'm just going to use black and I'm going to see how that looks. <clears throat> and so you're just going to follow the line of where your tape was. And there's going to be, you know, some ink on the inside of this black line, but that's okay. But that it really sort of helps to define it. And if you don't have it on the exact line of where your tape was, that is fine too. It's such an abstract kind of piece. I just love how messy it is. Nice. Just keep going around. Again, sometimes the faster you outline, the better it looks because <clears throat> you're not doing it so carefully. I just love the wonkiness. You can also like vary the thickness of your line. Sometimes I, this is a Posca acrylic paint pen. Um, you could do the tip or that you get a thinner line or sometimes I'll do the, the outer edge and then I get a thicker line. And actually, I think for this, just even having some thick and some thin is very interesting. Here I have to sort of make it up because I didn't have a lot of ink right near the edge of that tape. So it's like a white snowflake against a white background. A little thicker here. Again, you can go back and touch up whatever you'd like. And then just be careful not to run your hand through that Posca pen. It takes a while to dry. We're so spoiled with our alcohol inks drying so quickly. So sometimes when we're working with these other mediums, we have to be aware that they don't dry as quickly. I do this inside. I just love how wonky this is, the shape. So this would be fun. I mean, this would just be a fun little painting to do, but it'd also be really cute if you did it on a smaller scale as a card. Um, so there I have, it's my rustic snowflake and I hope you had fun. I hope you try a lot of different designs and then you can outline with different things as well. You can use the different methods for applying the inks. Um, but this is just a super fun and you could go back in then and clean this up if you wanted to. Um, sometimes the black outline actually makes it easier than to see where you're going to clean up. But have fun with it, and I will see you next time. Bye.